Hey everybody. So this video is about how to draw a food web. Uh, we've already learnt how to make a food chain, but food webs are the next stage because they're more complicated and they show the ecosystem in a more accurate way. Because an ecosystem is a lot more complex than just one thing eating one other thing. So what we'll do is we'll use these example species here to make our food web. Um, and these all, species all come from a grassland ecosystem in Australia. So we've got a dingo, kangaroo grass, uh, a centipede, a bull ant, a daisy plant called billy buttons, and the wombat. So um, the big idea for making a food web is to start at the bottom and work upwards. because it's much easier to start with the producers at the bottom and then work step by step to figure out what eats what. Okay, so to start at the bottom, we need to figure out what are the producers in our ecosystem. Well, remember that producers are plants and algae because they make their own food. They use photosynthesis and they don't need to eat anything else. So let's take our kangaroo grass, because that's a producer, and we'll put it at the bottom of our food web. Um, well, there's another plant here too, because we've got a daisy plant. So let's put the billy buttons down the bottom as well. So we've got our producers now. All right. Well, just like in a food chain, the next level up is going to be the herbivores, and they're the first level of consumer. So let's have a look at these species and figure out which ones eat plants. Well, wombats, they are definitely herbivores because they eat grass and leaves. So let's put the wombat over here. And actually bull ants, even though they have a strong bite, they're actually herbivores too. They eat nectar from flowers. So let's put them above the daisy here. Okay. So now that we've got them in the right place, we need to draw arrows, just like a food chain, to show which animals eat what. So bull ants, they eat nectar, like I just said. So we'll draw an arrow going up from the daisy to the bull ant, and that shows that bull ants eat the daisies. Um, wombats, they eat grass, and they eat daisies as well. They like, happily eat some flowers. So we'll draw an arrow from the grass and from the daisies to the wombat. So a food web can have more than one arrow going from or to an animal, or a plant, whatever species it is. <clears throat> So there are herbivores. Now we need to figure out what eats those herbivores. Well, centipedes, they prey on other insects. So they are going to go above the bull ant. So we'll draw an arrow from the bull ant to the centipede. And then we have a dingo. Well, dingoes are the top predator in a grassland. Nothing eats those at all. So a dingo's at the very top, and we're going to draw an arrow going from the wombat to the dingo, because dingoes eat wombats. And sometimes dingoes will eat insects too if they're really hungry and desperate for food. Okay. So now you can see that the centipede, because it eats herbivores, it must be a carnivore. And the same for the dingo. So we've got um, both these levels here are carnivores. Okay, so that's the method for drawing a food web. We can see that you can have multiple arrows going in different directions to show what eats different species. All right.